Welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll be going over some tips and tricks in Dying Light, specifically for the early game. Let's get right into it. Number 1. Starting off with natural medkits. If there is something that you constantly need more of, especially when you start a new character, it is medkits. You craft normal medkits from gauze and alcohol. Gauze is quite hard to come by in the beginning, and alcohol is very useful for other blueprints, which we will get to in a second. However, there is another version of the medkits that you can get quite early in the game called Natural Medkit, which only uses three herbs to craft the medkit. Herbs are a lot easier to find and farm since they have their own symbol on the map. There are actually different types of natural medkit, but the one that is most interesting to us is found in the old fishing village. Once you have completed the prologue and the following two quests, you will be giving the quest packed with rice. During this quest, you will be asked to collect money from the fishing village. Go there and do the objective. At this point, you will be able to interact and enter the buildings. At this building at the center of the village, as shown in the video, at the table you will be able to find the blueprint. Number 2. Don't forget to use firecrackers, molotovs and more. On my very first playthrough back in 2015, I barely used any equipment such as firecrackers and molotovs. Since then I like to believe that I've gotten a little bit wiser and realized just how effective these are, and that the game really is built around these mechanics. For example, in the early games, before you have acquired any guns, it takes a lot of hits to take down one of Ryze's men, especially if they are in a group. Here using a Molotov is very useful. It can damage multiple enemies at once, and it makes them unable to attack you once they are caught on fire giving you the time to hit them while the fire is burning. Using firecrackers will just in general make your life easier. You can lock the cars without killing all the enemies, or if you're trapped indoors with infected at all exits, just throw a few firecrackers over their head and wait for them to clear. Number 3. Loot everything, scrap what you can't carry. There's no limit to how much crafting materials you can carry, the only limit is the number of weapons and equipment that you can carry. You can scrap every melee weapon for metal parts, and this is extra valuable in the early game for crafting blueprints or repairing weapons. Every nail plank can be scrapped for nails, and every rusty pipe can be scrapped for metal parts. Always remember this in the early game, when you don't have that much bag space for your weapons. Instead of dropping items for bank space, scrap them. Metal parts is also used for lockpicks. In early game you won't be able to pick lock every lock that you find if you don't find a way to stock up on lockpicks. You can buy them from the store, but why would you if you can just pick up a useless weapon, scrap it immediately and then continue by crafting a lockpick. Number 4. Keep an eye on the XP bar. When you die in the game, you will lose XP points. However, you can't lose an entire level. This means that if you are scared of the fact that you might die during a quest, or you are entering a new area that you can't immediately return from, make sure that you level up before you begin that quest. That way, there is no real drawback from dying. To manage this, however, make sure that you pick up every side quest that you can find, since on every quest it says how difficult it's going to be to complete. So if you're dying a lot or having trouble leveling up, do an easier quest to level up right before you begin an harder quest. Number 5. Take safe zones. This one might seem like a no-brainer, but let me tell you why this is very important. It's not only to aid you at night, but it's also so that if you would die, you will respawn closer to your objective since you respawn at the nearest safe zone. This is a big time saver, simply because when you're low level, taking down a zombie can take a lot of time. Spawning closer to your objective will help a lot.
Number 6. Visit your quartermaster regularly. Finishing off with a smaller tip and a more obvious one, in the early game, quartermasters actually have useful weapons for you, and also crafting materials. And if the weapons are of no use to you, just go back to tip number 3 on this list, loot everything and scrap what you can't carry. That will be all for now. I tried to make this video specifically for the early game and not just tips in general. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this concept and if I missed any crucial tips. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.